All right, man, ESPN, um, they, what they did, a survey of eight scouts and NBA executives, and they decided that Troy Weaver and Detroit Pistons had the worst offseason of all time, or at least this year. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk Playlist. Um, and uh, let's get to it, though. I think the Pistons play again maybe Thursday or Friday. It's the last week of uh, preseason. The season started off on the, uh, in eight days. And then you got them opening against Minnesota. Um and then season opener versus Cavaliers. So it was rumors that Andre Drummond was to get drafted before the season, so I don't know. But uh, let's get to it. Um, it's hard to say, man, because they had Milwaukee got some votes and Houston got some votes. So, um, I mean, I think they were saying that they had no direction. They didn't like the Miles Plumley deal, that he's a backup, but they didn't like the Jamie Grant deal, I think it was. But um, a lot of fans getting on Jamie Grant early. But then again, you got to understand, you know, he could have went back to Denver for the same money, but he wanted a larger role. And, you know, a bigger role ain't meant for everybody. But really, this team really don't have no direction. Just think about it for a minute. You got two Asian veterans that you have not moving, Derrick Rose and Blake, but they good mentors. And outside of that, you got Josh Jackson, you got Diombo, um, Isaiah Stewart, Malik, Sidney Malachi. You got a lot of guys that it's just really – a puzzle that really don't have no vivid picture. And that's kind of where they are at. They ain't signed no bad contract. Josh Jackson got three years. That's not long. Um, Miles Plumley got, what, three years, two years. That's not that long. So it really don't have an identity. And I think what eventually identity will be, will be trading Derrick Rose, trading Billy Griffin, handing the keys over to Killian, having the, uh, handing the keys over to to him. And really those two really being the staples. And if, you know, Bay contribute, if Stewart contribute, you know, then there what it is. If Musa or, or Shavidis really come in and trip and contribute, because really they took a flyer on Josh Jackson. Hopefully he can do something. They took a flyer on Musa. They took a flyer on Savidas. And Savidas and Musa ain't played yet. So Stewart got to develop. So it's a team where I think it has no identity. That Dwayne Casey got to create our identity. And you're just thinking about, about it. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not mad at what they did this offseason because I think they tank it. I think that's this team ain't no 30, what, 40, 50 win team in the 72 game season. And a lot of people are hoping they are, but they're not. It takes time when you rebuild. And they can lie and say, we retooling, we retooling. We not rebuilding. It's all the same thing. Let's look at the team. Look at the Derrick Rose, Blake Griffin, Jeremy Grant, uh, Mason Plumley. Uh, who else you got in there? Uh, Malachi. You don't even know if Malachi a starting two card in this league. Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin, they ain't been starting players in this league in a long time due to their health. Josh Jackson, you hope he get his act together coming back home. It's just a lot of pieces that's eventually going to get shaved down. Once guys start getting roles on the team, you're going to see Mason Plumlee ain't coming here to be the star. He coming in to give Isaiah Stewart some game like that. You know, and honestly, it's just a lot of t guys on the team that's going to be seeking out roles. Injury's going to play a part. They're going to need a point guard to step up like the line right. They're going to need Killian Hayes. It's just inevitable that Derrick Rose is not going to be able to play the full 72. Same thing with Blake Griffin. And it's okay if Diombo don't start. Because then again, Blake Griffin going to get injured. You know, Jimmy Grant going to be in there. So, to be honest, you know, how can you say a team that's clearly rebuilding, that's clearly tanking, how can you say that they had the worst offseason? Look at Houston. They was teams with championship ambitions. They got rid of Robert Covington, could get rid of James Harden, you know, you know, traded Russell Westbrook for Barrett John Wall. We should know who he's pretty good. And then look at Milwaukee. They traded their future knowing that Giannis is leaving. I did a video on my other channel. Check that out. Goodfellas Sports TV. I heard YouTube. You traded three first-round picks for Drew Holiday. Even if you give away Drew Holiday after Giannis decided he's leaving or you trade him, you know, you're not going to get three first-round picks back for Drew Holiday. Think about it. Houston Ags, 76 for three first-round picks. And Ben Simmons, which I don't know how Ben, and, um... Being in John Wall is going to work. That's damn near impossible. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I I, I don't think – how can you have a team that missed the playoffs last year as the worst offseason? Oh, they have no direction. It's a team clearly looking to tank games. And clearly, you know, they looking to really get high in the lottery. And a lot of people just don't understand. You know, but hey, it's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Check out the Detroit Piston Talk playlist. I found this on uh, Free Press and News. You can check it on ESPN drop today. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to a business question, inquire, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter and then Facebook and Instagram. You also got a
Facebook. That's it. My other channel, I got a Facebook group. But other than that, I want to make a donation. Cash App, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time we done.